Hey guys, so back at it again next day now that I've confirmed that my new individual coil setup is functioning, everything's working right, everything's going good. I'm gonna try and clean up some of the wires that I had just kind of like mocked up uh, so that I can finalize them. Uh, but first, I'm actually going to be doing some home zinc plating. I got uh, the crank trigger uh, that is required for the individual coil setup, and I got everything I think I need to be able to do some DIY zinc plating. Um, basically a run through of the things that I bought. I just bought a clean uh, one gallon bucket, uh, something that will fit the part. Uh, I'm gonna have to push it down in there, but hopefully it, it works pretty good. And I have a um, power supply it's probably overkill, but got it a long time ago, really cheap. I have some uh, zinc. This is actually used for uh, roofing. It's to prevent moss uh, from growing on your roof, which I could probably use. So maybe I'll actually use uh, what's left. I also need Epsom salt. So I got uh, some of that, some distilled water to clean the part, and some vinegar for uh, the plating solution and then I'm also going to go get some uh, table sugar uh, I found this online I'll throw a link up uh, to uh, in the description where I found uh, all this information so it says I need to prep the solution to let the zinc start dissolving so it says to let that sit overnight so I'm gonna go ahead and get that set up and then we'll swap the truck back over to a uh, single coil and the distributor setup Okay, so that one gallon bucket wasn't big enough. I have this new setup. I'm just gonna, hopefully it's gonna work. I'm gonna lay it flat. And I'm gonna put a strip of zinc down this side, across the bottom, up the other side. So hopefully it will distribute enough and this way I don't have to have a ton of solution. But I can still use that bucket to save the solution when I'm done in case I wanna do this again. So now I need to measure, and this is 5% vinegar, so you can get it pretty much at any grocery store. I got this at Dollar General. Okay, so I got three liters of vinegar in the bucket. Now I need to put 300 grams of Epsom salt. grams of Epsom salt. Now we need 360 grams of sugar. Well, I just want to dissolve everything. Now we need to put the zinc in. All right, well, the uh, zinc solution is hopefully ready to go. I let it sit um, basically overnight. So hopefully now uh, enough of the zinc's dissolved to be able to actually coat something. I just grabbed a piece of carbon steel, uh, wrapped some welding wire around it, uh, cleaned it up just to see if the solution is good to go. Uh, and hopefully we'll uh, toss it in right now and uh, yeah, see if it, starts to plate it. I also swap the truck back over to uh, individual or swap back over to a single coil with the distributor. Um, I'm still working on cleaning up the wiring and whatnot so and also 
I have a truck rental, or well, I had a truck rental for tomorrow, but it got canceled again. So if all goes well, I'm going to just go for the test and tune tomorrow evening. Um, they basically canceled the, the uh, truck rental because it was gonna be too early in the morning because it gets um, too cool at night. They wouldn't be able to prep the track uh, that early in the morning. So, oh well, hopefully I can get enough runs in at test and tune to still be able to break the stock bottom end record but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot as long as uh, they don't cancel the test and tune for tomorrow. While I'm waiting, I'm going to uh, try and get this uh, piece of steel coated. Oh, nice. That is totally working. I don't know if you see that, but the uh, welding rod has a nice clean coating line on it. Sweet. It's a little dull. But I think I'm gonna hit it with some basically some some Scotch Brite, and uh, yeah, keep coating it a couple more times and see what happens. Here we go, second coat. Looks much better after I uh, hit it with the Scotch Brite pad. So yeah, I have some leftover pretty fine Scotch Brite um, from doing the body work on the bumper. And the grills so I'll just hit one side of it and then show you what it looks like yeah hopefully you can see this I'm not sure how much I'm not sure how great this is gonna show up on camera but that's before hitting it with scotch bright and that's after so um, it's really hard to tell um, like how thick it is like if it's actually coated fully coated but I mean just looking at uh, the way that the welding rod is coated I mean it's definitely putting a layer of zinc on there and I think really this is really just practicing but I think I'm pretty much ready to, to do it to the trigger wheel I just need to wash it rinse it and uh, start coating it too I think that's pretty good We'll just have to shine it up and I think that was a successful test. Now I need to uh, actually do the trigger wheel. I've rinsed and washed the trigger wheel, so made some space, making sure it's not gonna touch any of the zinc. So now I just need to turn it on and let it go. So I'm probably gonna do it like mm, three or four, maybe four times. So now, kick it on. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. I'm not sure you'll be able to see that on camera, but it's like changing colors already. I mean, it's not going to be perfect. I know I probably didn't get it like perfectly clean, but I got it pretty darn clean. And I think after doing multiple coats, uh, I think it'll, uh, I think it'll look pretty good. But really, I'm just trying to prevent rust. I don't want it to rust because it's going to be exposed to the elements uh, since it's outside the engine. It looks like the coating is going fairly well. Um, I think I might have to flip it over because this side in the center isn't getting a great coating. But yeah, I'm gonna have to flip it over because this side looks great. So yeah, it's just not getting uh, as good of a coating. I guess I could let it go a little bit longer because it looked like it was propagating and going um, everywhere. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna flip it over so it gets evenly coated. All right, going in for round two. Cleaned up really nice. All right, it's going to the bath for the last time. It's pretty cool, you can just kinda like watch it change. I just kicked the power supply on and bubbles are starting and you can see it just shift colors. It's looking pretty good though. Well, here's the trigger wheel after being plated the most recent time. I think I did maybe three times. The last one I did pretty much the longest one. I did like 30 minutes or so. And that's before Scotch Bright. It still looks pretty good. It's a little darker on the edges, but then did a quick Scotch Bright. Man, that looks good. 
production level 